Zach Dunn, undefeated, former IBO World Super Middleweight Champion, now Commonwealth Super Middleweight Champion, number five WBC, number five IBF, number five WBO. It's uh, coming up for his first Commonwealth title defence, March 17th at the magnificent Melbourne Pavilion against Scotsman David Brophy. Well, Zach's trying I couldn't be happier. Zach was just sharp as today. The preparation's really fallen into place. One of the best preparations I reckon you've ever had, Zach. Yeah, it's, um, it's been smooth. Uh, the sparring's been spot on. And to sharpen up, we've got them to check over. World class, so. So, he's very good shape. He's a very good fighter. He's very strong. People have said his defence has been a little bit sus. Well, that was just that being exciting. Tightened up his defence. He's not getting hit now. He, he can box. He's sharp. I want to show you. Well, I want to show off my career with Australia. We're going to win a world title this year, and uh, we couldn't be happier with the way it's going. Right up there in all the top four major bodies. This is our year. We're going to get a shot at the world title. Aren't we? Absolutely. He's the most exciting fighter Australia's ever produced. Zach Dunn is the next big thing in Australian boxing. Get behind him, Australian boxing fan. And he got a shock when he got in against Groves, and he's going to get a bigger shock when he gets in against Zach. If you think Groves can punch, wait till you see Zach Dunn. Everything he throws is loaded. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Fighting out of the blue corner. Fighting out of Scotland, he is. David Brophy! And Melbourne, Australia, let's make some noise for your champion, Zach Dynamo Dunn! Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have you all up standing for the National Anthem of Scotland. Oh, 
flower of Scotland, when will we see your like again? That fought and died for your rebid heel and glen that stood against him. Proud Edward's army and sent him homeward to think again. The hills are bare now, and autumn leaves like they can steal. For land that is lost now, which those so dearly held, that stood against you. Proud Edward's army, and sent him home. It And ladies and gentlemen, can we please all remain standing for the Australian National Anthem sung by the beautiful Monique Carey. are on the auspice of the Professional Boxing and Combat Sports Board of Victoria. Your judges at ringside are Mr. Jeff Hetty, Wayne Ashton and Samantha Bulner. Your doctor at charge at centre of the ring is Dr. Walter DiBartolo. Your timekeeper, Tommy Davis and Chris Anderson Jr. When that bell tolls, the man in charge in centre ring is Mr. Tony Moretta. Tonight's fights are brought to you by the wonderful people at Ultratune. Melbourne Pavilion. Both warriors have now entered the ring, and this is the main event of the evening. Out of the packed Melbourne Pavilion, Melbourne, let's bring the noise. It's main event time. 12 by 3 minute rounds in the super middleweight division. They'll be fighting for the Commonwealth. Super middleweight title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Billy Nelson, out of the Engage Boxing and Fitness Gym, with an official weight of 76.15 kilogram, wearing black trunks with red. A fight record, 20 fights, 19 wins, one loss, one draw, two coming by knockout. Fighting out of Col de Cruche in Scotland. Ladies and gentlemen, David and across the ring, his opponent, 
fighting out of the red corner, trained by Garrett Danny Kay with Daryl Ford, Mick Hargrave, and Arif Carter in his corner. Out of the Fighting Lions, an official weight of 75.95 kilograms, wearing the black trunks with white piping. He is undefeated. 23 fights, 23 wins, 18 coming by way of knockout. Representing Melbourne, Australia, he is the former IBO world champion, the current WBC international silver middleweight champion. He is the current reigning and defending Commonwealth super middleweight champion. Melbourne, let's make some noise for Zach Dynamo. Da! Zach. Okay, gentlemen, I gave you my instructions in the dressing room. I'm going to do a clean fight. If I'm on instructions all the time, you're being all the time. I came back to you and now come out for a full clean fight. Let's go. Touch off. Thank you. What an intense stare down for our Commonwealth Super Middleweight title on the line. Matt Pilios with legend Barry Michael and AK 47. Guys, our main event of the evening for big time boxing. It is Zach Dynamo Dunn taking on David Brophy, and both guys start very, very dangerously. Yes, Zach Dunn came out and threw a beautiful left hook, landed cleanly. But look, Brophy's going to be tough. He's going to be a tough Scotsman. He's come to fight. Oh, he's on the attack. It surprised me. I thought he'd box, but he's he's attacking from the first bell. One thing boys are doing straight away, just sitting in that pocket. Not really stretching out their jabs, just, uh, what would you call that, Barry? Sizing one another up? Yeah, there's there's none of that at the moment. I'm surprised. I thought David Bruffy would come out and try and box and move, but he's come out and he's on the attack straight away. For people who don't know David Bruffy, he's only had the one defeat, 18 wins, and that only defeat was against George Groves in London, uh, who's a very, very good world-class fighter. Zach Dynamo done the Victorian who's loved in Australia, Barry. Undoubtedly, you know, Zach undefeated at this stage. David Brophy, as you said, one loss against uh, George Groves, who fights for the WBA Super Middleweight World title shortly against Victor Tudinov. And uh, he's been a world champion. He's fought some of the great fighters, George Groves. That's the only guy that's beaten this, 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 this Brophy. Uh, so if Zach Dunn can do a similar job to George Groves, then we're hoping to get a big shot at one of the one of the world titles. This Commonwealth title fight is 12 by three minute rounds through also and proudly sponsored by Ultra Tune and A Paris Productions. So David, still pretty content to sit inside that pocket, Barry. Do you think, uh, how do you think that suits Zach, Zach Barry? Do you, do you think he likes that or do you like to stretch out a little bit? No, no, Zach, Zach happy to, for someone to fight, but it's surprising me that, you know, I really didn't think that Brophy would be, you know, this much on the attack. Oh, great the three hit combo. Great, Great body shots from Zach Dunn, but good countering punches continually from David Brophy. Very in good this exchanges. Opening round. Very good exchanges early, guys. And this is what you get when you two get two world class athletes boxing here in the Melbourne Pavilion. Oh, big, big, big right, right hand. hand, big right hand from Brophy. I want to see Zach yeah. Dunn get side on like he's been in the gym. He's been boxing brilliant. And that's it. He's turning side on there. He needs to be, be a bit cautious because Brophy's come to fight. Look at the fitness and uh, athleticism of uh, David Brophy, guys. Yeah, no, looking very strong and, you know, on the attack, surprising me in this first round. I think that was a great call for Barry. Um, when uh, Zach caught that right hand flush on the jaw, his shoulders were definitely squarer. So, yes, no, he needs to get side on. And in, in the gym, he showed incredible defensive improvement in the last few months with incredible, great sparring with the former WBA World Super Middleweight Giovanni Di Good counter punch. Good left right. up. Good oh, punch again. Look at the volume. Take him up, Zach. Take him up. Great punching from Zach down there. Guys, this is world class here in Melbourne. Good yeah. shots from Zach down again. David Brophy showing that he's class. Landed some good clean shots in this opening round, but the majority of the power and the speed coming from Zach Dunn, but a lovely countering right from David Brophy again there. Very good shot, very good round. What an even round. Yes, yes, not a lot in the round. What a start to this title fight. Very exciting. Let's listen in. Shots are 
great. Don't wait on the ropes. Don't wait on the ropes. Get around. Get around. Look at these replays of the first round. It was a left hook twice. Or was that Dynamo done? Good right hand from Brockham. Very good with that right hand counter. Good to listen to Zach's corner there. I was about to ask you, Barry, what Zach's like with his back against the ropes. Fast yeah, no, like his corner doesn't like that. They want him to move away from them. Yeah, step aside. But, you know, Zach done generally, you know, very unusual for him to be against the ropes. Usually him walking up, dominating the other opponent. Right. David Brockham surprised me in the first round. Look. You know, I, I still think Zach probably scored the majority of the good punches, but Brophy's showing that he's come here trying to get him, try and take this Commonwealth title. Zach needs to settle down, get his jab working. He's got a beautiful jab, which once he gets it working, I think you'll see him put his combos together better. And beautiful call, because once again we heard his corner calling for the jab, though. Yep, yep. Is there a cut there in Brophy? He's very red early. We copped some big shots in the first round. He really did. We'll take it right in the middle there, above the nose, uh, bridge of the nose. Oh, that right hand wobbled briefly, that overhand right. His legs wobbled briefly there. Oh, I'm a cut as well. Yeah, he's definitely... I don't know if it's a cut or... A bit of a scratch, maybe, Matthew, rather than a cut, so to speak. Well, good oh, right God. hand from Brophy. Very good for that countering right hand. Zach needs to keep his hands up and be side on. Both fighters have landed uh, well early in this fight, Barry. Yes, they have. Good exchanges for, by both fighters. Brophy's showing he's a quality contender at this stage. Zach starting to move his head much better now. Creating a harder target. Good body shot to the hook. Loves his power shots. Don't guy. use the jab. That's what he needs to do is get that jab work. Great call, Barry. Just like his corner wanted. Exactly. There it is. Triple jab. What a corner for Zach uh, Dynamo. I've got Danny Kay, but obviously Mickey Hargroves as well. Wait, and uh, back, both old sparring partners of mine, they are. Danny, uh, sparred, Danny and I sparred a lot of rounds, and so did Mick and I as well. It's a uh, good, good, good right hand again by Brophy. Zach's got to be cautious to be dangerous right hand. Brophy's just got to get out of the pocket and there. He gets landed a couple. Needs to be moving more fluently on his feet and toes. Look, I thought Zach might have pinched the first round, but there wasn't a lot in it. And, you know, it's pretty, pretty close round here, too. I, you know, I think Zach throwing maybe more punches, but, uh, you know, Brophy's pretty, pretty accurate with what he's throwing. I was just about to say, boys, very evenly matched once again here tonight. Great to Good see. Combo. Well, there's only one loss between these two fighters, and yeah. I think uh, if I do my maths right, 41 wins, so it just shows the caliber that Brian and, and Big Time Boxing have brought here to Melbourne, Australia. Undoubtedly, this is a world-class super middleweight fight, you know, two world-class fighters. Absolute privilege to be calling this one. Matt Pilios with Chris Bradford, AK-47, and legend Barry Michael, second of 12 possible rounds for the Commonwealth super middleweight title. Much better from Zach, mixing up the levels, yeah, body. Starting, starting to settle down, Chris. You know, he needs to settle down a bit. I think he's a... Look, there we go. Transition levels there, Barry. Much better, eh? Nice round. That's a better round. Deal with that one. Nothing. Let's take a look at the second round replays. Some short uh, punches landed early by Dan, but Brophy really pulled back there. I thought that first 60 seconds it was all done, but that right hand hurt Brophy. But the lovely countering right hand by Brophy there too. See the corner. Um, working on Brophy's cup there. No major concern, but obviously it's open enough enough to get the adrenaline in there and um, they want to look after it. Obviously from Scotland as well, uh, what do you think of his conditioning and how long has he been here so far, Barry? He's been here over a week. Now he's, he's superbly conditioned. He's, he's really, you know, he's, they've been very confident in the lead up to the fight and so are we, you know. We, we, you know, I'm Zach Dunn's manager and, you know, Zach's very extremely confident. Um, but, you know, we certainly aren't underestimating Brophy and he's showing tonight already what a quality opponent he is. Changes levels very well there, our opponent uh, David Brophy. And a good double jab there by the Scotsman. Boxing well. 
Barry Brophy, ten, uh, he looks like he developed a lot of power out of his cross. Now, I can't quite see if it's coming from his hips or he's more more of a shoulder puncher. What would you call on that? Yeah, Barry? no, I think he's more of a shoulder puncher. You know, looking at his record, I think Zach's, Zach's got the more power. And I don't think, other than that good right hand in the first round, this, uh, last round, first round that uh, wobbled Brophy, I think when Zach gets a right hand on the chin, that overhand right, I think you might see some damage. But, okay. And Zach then now starting to see his right hand, which is good, because he was getting caught with it in the first. He was early, yeah. The first two. Okay, and Barry for a statistic. Uh, 18 knockouts in the career for Zach oh, Dunn. Hurt oh, Zach. left body shots hurt Zach there. I've never seen Zach Dunn hurt from body shot, and that hurt him. That yes, did hurt him. definitely. He's still a little bit hurt now. Oh, again. Oh, yeah, yeah, those sense. body shots are hurting him. I've never seen that before. Well, remarkably, I was going to say, Brophy, only the two knockouts in yeah. his career of 18 wins. Yes, yes. As, yeah. he, as he landed those heavy body shots, Barry. Yeah, well, I, I tell you, he, Zach Dunn was definitely hurt. He's still hurt. Brophy knows it too. He's hunting that liver. He's hunting that body shot yes. to the uppercut. Oh, he could be. Never seen those, those body shots are really good. Zach, Zach done in, in. Zach hasn't thrown a punch for 30 seconds, Barry. Yeah, he's, in, he's hurt this round. He's definitely hurt. Oh, he's definitely wobbly now, lads. I don't know if so much wobbly, but the body shots are taking their toll. That was a bit low, but there's some good responses by Zach Dunn. Big shots from Zach Dunn, but Brophy says no. Take him up, take him up, Dunn, take him up. He's a tough Scotsman, this guy, that's for sure. And big, big body shots hurt Zach. I've never seen him hurt by body shots before. Never. Has he recovered, Barry? Yeah, he's starting to recover. Probably needs a bit longer. He needs to be cautious from it. A little bit low. Good body shot. Good body shot from Brophy, too. Brophy's got a surprisingly good left of the body. Yeah, very good rip again. Great left rip he's got. Barry Zach is definitely keeping that right. Oh, oh he's hurt. He's oh. hurt. He wobbled. He could be in all sorts. Oh, oh the response. Big right hand from Zach. Big exchanges here in the third round. Wow. A big Whoa. round for our challenger. Whoa. Huge round. Big round for David Brophy. You now, Zach looked in all sorts of trouble there. The body shot took a lot out of him, but uh, he was hurt at the end of the round. And Niles is watching in Scotland. Yes! Let's take a look at some of that. That was oh, the earlier body shot. Snuck right through. And, and AK okay, gets him again, I think. He came there, come through again. Once you're hurt like that, it takes a long time to get over it. You know, once, once you hurt your opponent, there it is again. That's a perfect left hook to liver. Barry, that dug deep, that. That really dug deep into the river. That's a perfect left hook to the liver. I've never Same seen him that. hurt like that before with a body shot. And bro, if you look at that, that's a bomb. That is a bomb. Four or five of those shots, guys. Zach what? needs to be cautious here. Okay, Can Zach come back from that very bad third round? Very bad third round. We have a fight on our hands, Australia and everyone across the world. We welcome you here. Round four. Brophy extremely confident after round three. Big right again over the top. Gun responds well. No, Zach's not, he's not. I, I, I'm head. going to try and beat you to the punch here, Barry. I am starting to wonder if maybe Zach might have cracked a rib. Or, yeah, maybe. He's or, still yeah. in pain, I think. I he, really he's do. not 100% right. He's no, sitting he's not really 100% right. on that right elbow, and he's really covering that rib. Yeah, good overhand right from Zach Dunn. That's, that's the shot I expected that he would be doing the damage with Brophy, but Brophy, you know, has worn him well so far. I just noticed even Zach was in the right hand range there and he didn't want to offload it just in case. See there. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up straight away. You're right, OK. He's yeah, holding that right elbow low, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Look, it's, he's definitely, he possibly has got a busted rib. He's, he's certainly in pain from it still. That's hurting Zach Dunn. OK, for our fans that don't know, you've had, uh, I think, uh, up to 40 professional kickboxing more toe fights, so you know what a, a bad rib for sure is and, and well spotted, but. 
Brophy just really doing all the attacking, Barry, since uh, late in that second round. Y yes, it's surprising. The whole pattern, pattern of the fight is a big surprise to me. I'm actually in shock. Uh, I thought Zach would dominate from the first round, but uh, Brophy's, you know, proving a very tough cookie indeed. Quality boxer, good kid of punches. Well, he's fought George Groves, who, uh, again, fighting for that world title next month. And, and Barry, if you tend to agree with me, one thing about when the body's hurt, it opens up the head. So. Oh, undoubtedly, undoubtedly. That's why Zach got nailed at the end of round three with the big right hand in, in, the, in his own corner, because he was still hurt from the body shot. Take, you know, only, you can only take so many of them if they hit you in the right spot, that's for sure. Zach with some good combinations this last 30 seconds, guys. And look, Zach is a great body puncher himself. You know, great body puncher. He needs to land that big overhand right. Good shot from Zach. Oh, yeah, that's good better. exchange. That's much better from Zach. Oh. Much better from Zach. Um, Brophy fires back. Good right from Zach. Oh, Brophy Zach. fires back and Zach fires back again. What, what a fight. Round. Oh, there's that left rip. Good shot from Zach. This crowd is deafening. Oh, Barry, when, when I seen Zach trading long there, geez, he looked so good when he was really... Just when he puts them together, punches. he puts them together beautifully. It was beautiful to watch, wasn't it? Puts them together magnificently. Wild overhand right from Zach there. Normally one of these home run punches that knocks so many good quality fighters out. Good combination from Zach. Better round. Huge round. Big shout out to Ultra Churn, our major sponsor, Short Buckley, Jimmy Vegas, and the team. He'll get that room. What? What round that five? Look at it. That's round five. Keep up. Alright, let's look at our replay. Beautiful overhand right. There's that vicious body shot again. He's got a vicious left rip, left rip David Brophy. Quality body puncher. He doesn't wind it up, he just rips it and, and gets through. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's the best punch in the book for my money. But Zach's got Zach's great with the left rip as well. This is surprising me. We didn't expect expect this from Brophy, I don't think. Look again, that was what has Zach done? Would hate to be a judge so far in this Commonwealth Super Middle. Guys. Hundred percent. Snappy jab back there from Zach. He looks fresher. I like that. I think he's fighting from there. Yeah, he needs to get that jab working, put his punches together. The confidence of David Brophy, too. He's standing there. He's not afraid to, to stand flat footed in front of Zach Dunn. We wouldn't have thought that it's either Barry. No, undoubtedly. But, you know, Brophy surprised all of us, I think, he, the way he's attacked in the first few rounds. And he stood there and traded with him. Which, you know, not many fighters I've seen be, be able to stand and, and trade, trade with Zach the way he's traded. We just saw Zach Dunn's best offence for a couple of rounds and a good left hook. Sneaks around the ear there. Brophy's saying I'm not hurt. Brophy's got a very nice tight guard, so it is very hard for Zach to penetrate. Very hot. Typical European hands held high style, but saying that, we had Giovanni Di Carolis out here who was the world champion and similar sort of style, and Zach really boxed beautifully with him over 60 rounds. He lost his world title in his last fight. That was low. Oh, good. No, that didn't land. A good defence from Zach there. He blocked that right hand beautifully. That's what he needs to do. Keep his self side on hands up. We see you, Zach's starting to get, he's starting to get his, his pace back. He's starting yeah. to get determined. You see that, that climb off coming, he's, he's putting it back together, I believe, after being hurt early. Maybe maybe underestimated this guy, but Zach Dunn, or for my money, is, uh, oh. is starting to put it back together. Right. Let's go. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got that anchor back. The country boy from Victoria. Good rank, good punches. A right hand seems to have come back too, so maybe it just was a bit of a, a winding there to that rip. Because he seems to be offloading and stretching out that right hand of Zach's hey, now like he's having no... He does. Back. He's back. Back. winning on, this round go. for my money, Stand Zach Dunn. He's, he's on top this round. He's certainly come back a lot. Good short uh, left uh, uppercut there by Dunn. And again, better defensive work from Zach Dunn and good countering and combos. Good left hook. Big round for Zach Dynamo done. Much better round, much better round. 
Needs to keep that hand up. Watch that right hand of Brophy. Brophy's dangerous with that right hand. Little shots from short shots from Zach. Great combinations there by both fighters. Right, step back. Step back, Lane. Come on. Let's go. 2,000 people squeezed here to the Melbourne Brilliant Premier. Good Good. Ruffy. Good, good countering jab from Ruffy, but it's been Zach's round. He's dominated right. this round. No, right. Right. Oh, is that the second time? Zach's up. just got to be careful. Up, yep, he's a bit over anxious, but uh, a better round. Undoubtedly a better round than Zach's done. Well, Barry, you're, uh, you're his manager. How are you feeling so far after five rounds? Mate, I've been very, very nervous uh, at the end of the fight dead even, but I think Zach won that round, and for my money, he's maybe a point in front, but there's nothing in it. Well, look at the replays of round number five. That was all Zach done in that middle of the part of the round there. Great combination. You know, I know Zach can keep the work rate up for 12 rounds, but he, you know, like, as I said, I've never seen him hurt like that in the first few rounds, ever. Maybe he was coming into the ring, you know, not mentally focused, thinking it was going to be an easier, easier uh, fight, perhaps, but uh, he certainly... Just about to start round number six. We welcome everybody. Fox Sports, big time boxing. Our Commonwealth Super Middleweight title on the line, defending Zach Dunn against our Scots Scotsman, David Brophy. Dunn from Victoria, Australia. Oh, big right. Big right. A good right counter back from Zach, too. Roffy doesn't have the power oh. of Zach, but he's getting through. Zach's Great work by Zach. Good work from Zach. Really content in closing the gap. That's better. In the pocket, Barry. Are you happy with that so far? Um, oh. Generally, yes, but I've never seen him caught with so many right hands before. He's he's uh, getting a, getting caught with a lot of straight lines. Right, right hand. Turn south for them for a second, Zach. pressure now. Great really work, mate. On. Love to see him keep him on the ropes if he can. Winding up that right. Okay. No hold. Good combination there from Zach, changing the angle. I think Brophy's got to be feeling the pressure, even though he's, you know, had a couple of big rounds early. I mean, Zach is walking up relentlessly, putting combinations together. He's, he's certainly back in the fight in a big way. Well, no one knows their fighter better than the manager, and he said he'd be there for the 12 rounds, Barry, so... Good shots from Brophy, but well defended by Zach down there. Zach sort of knew they were coming there, Barry. Yeah, he, he caught every, virtually every one of them, I believe. You know, blocked them all, rolled, them, rolled with them well. And just some quick good punches. Left, good left hand work. He needs to use that jab more. Get that stiff jab out. Just there, locks him jab from there. Fairly close round. Right, right through the guard. This uh, finish to the round is important. It's been in oh, the left rip. Oh, that left rip. Yeah, that was dangerous. Ian Barry nearly caught that same position that hurt him before. Yeah, I reckon it's hurt him a little bit now as as well. I think it's hurt him, yeah. He got, those left rips are definitely hurting, hurting him. Oh, all right. He's wobbled. Zach Dunn is in trouble. Yes, I think he's a little bit hurt here. Right. Step back, step back, guys. Step back, step back. Can he back. survive? Step back, step back. Let's go. You, you caught it before, you dropped your hands when you hurt, you hit the body, you dropped his hand, he copped the right, Chris. Yeah, he the the hand, David. The Bro Brokey knows it too, he's hunking, hunting him down, going to the body, he has come back up to the head again, oh, there it is. Big right hand for Brokey. Oh, Brokey oh, landing that the body. This is very, very good boxing and intelligent when you know a fighter's Big hurt. round from Brokey, he's, he's winning this round now, well, Zach, Zach's... Not Zach looking good here. Has worn a lot of punches this round. Definitely Can has. He survived. Might have been a lot of trouble. He's in a lot of trouble. Scotsman has Zach in a lot of trouble. Has he ever? He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, saved by the bell. Jeez. Huge round. Ten, the, ten eight to Brophy that round. That last minute was one of the hardest rounds we've seen Zach done for a very long time, Barry. Mate, I, he was in a lot of trouble. It surprised me early doors. He looked good the previous round, round. Uh, Round five, he looked good, but uh, in round six there towards... 
Play. Zach didn't start bad, but it was really the left rip about 90 seconds to go. Yeah, Matt, I think you're spot on there, mate, with the left rip that's doing the damage all the way through here. And I've, as I said, I've never seen Zach have any problem taking there it was. One of the body shots. One of the body Let's shots. Go. Let's go. Our Scotsman is tough. That's the one. That's the one. He saw him pause and he got he copped a big right on the ropes after that. that Zach okay. doesn't look well to me. And Zach Dynamo done. Could he be facing his first professional career Fight. loss? Get back. No uh, punching. Australia Get back. does Get back. hope not for sure, but uh, a huge upset could be here from David Brophy. Would be a huge upset for sure. Let well, me let me tell you, the bookmakers had him Zach done a dollar twelve, I think. Scotsman, huge favourite. Very happy there at the bookmakers there over there in Scotland. Dunn's got to get out of the corner. That's use that jab, push your way out. I like that, from Zach. Surprises me how Brophy has taken the punches because Zach's big shots. His body is strong. He, he's just very well conditioned. He's super conditioned. Surprised, surprised me how well and strong he's come through, uh, Barry. Yes, yeah. Under, very su surprised me in a big way how strong and powerful Brophy is, and how good his left grip to the body is, and how good his counter punching is. He's fighting a very good fight. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I, I just, you know, Zach has Another one. had the best training camp ever. Um, obviously, he's been looking absolutely brilliant in the gym, but tonight he just ha he just just hasn't got it at the moment. So, sometimes Stoles make matchups, and, and he's just found an opponent who may be as, as big and as strong and as fast. Well, he's fought plenty of big, strong guys before, but you know. But, but then again, too, Matty, a, a one punch can totally change a 12 yeah, round yeah. fight. Yeah, Chris, that, that left back, that left back, the body on, early in the fight. I, you know, that really took it out of him. Yeah, look, for all we know, like for all we know, uh, Zach's liver's bleeding internally. You know, or he could have a crack rib. He could be injured. He could be bruised. We don't know. Well, no, I, I, I did see that Trent Broadhurst got a oh, liver oh, bleed. He's, he's hurt. hurt there. There. He's hurt. Yes. I can. Got a count here. He's in a lot of trouble. He's, we, he's, not good. He no, took that no, one no. knee, but he got up. I reckon it's getting very close, boys. That is something 100% wrong. wrong. This could be huge. Can Zach Dynamo done survive? David Brophy undefeated until that George Groves loss. Could he be the yeah, best man in the town? Big hard race has thrown in the towel, and it is over. Scotsman shocks. He certainly the world. shocked me. He shocked the world. He yeah. has shocked and a, a shock Melbourne Pavilion. A shock comment. And David Brophy has done what a lot of people thought the impossible outside the Scotland team. A huge win. And Zach Dunn. And I'm sorry, Barry, to say this. Yeah, mate. Suffer his first but, ever professional yeah, loss. I'm shock. I'm really in shock. And you know, credit to David Brophy. You know, Zach was brave right to the end. But uh, you know, he's brought his body shots in particular, his whole his whole attack and everything. Um, so really surprised the whole team, surprised everybody, and he shocked the world. A massive upset, definitely. And uh, as we spoke about before, the, the liver shot just really opened up opened up the head shots and his uh, corner one to protect him. Let's um, take a sure. look at this. Stop there it is. Look, that's that liver. There that's it. Is. You know, that's got to hurt every day, but. He took the early one, then he dropped the, the knee. Yeah. He, he got up, and then uh, we'll see uh, where possibly the towel was thrown in. This is, again, the first when he dropped to his knee. He was hurt. Yeah, no. He took a right, but the stoppage is now. Again, that's the same replay. Uh, we'll have a look at this angle. He's dropped to his knee. He got back up. Uh, let's see if we get this last part when he's caught yeah. Through the towel in, he was copying a barrage of punches, guys. And, and sad to see Zach lose his first fight, but he may come back bigger and stronger. Well, you know, we, we all lose at some stage, believe me. You know, that's uh, that's boxing. Very sorry to say, unfortunately, that, you know, I had to commentate Zach's first loss, Chris, and 
Yeah, terrible very, shock. Very upsetting for you, mate. But um, I think with your experience and my experience, the want to know, they want to protect him because they know he's got, oh, he's got a massive undoubtedly. career. Yeah. They still want to see him keep boxing. So, uh, yeah, they've looked after him well, mate. But... Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes and 14 seconds into the seventh round. This fight ended via corner stoppage, declaring a winner via TKO. And new Commonwealth Boxing Council super middleweight champion, David Brophy. Thank you, John. We might, we might have a chat. To Victorian Zach Dunn, but let's congratulate the new Commonwealth Super Middleweight Champion. How does that sound? Welcome to Melbourne, Australia, David. Thank you. Um, I couldn't be happier. Um, the work I put in the last eight, nine weeks, to come to this point, plus every fight before this, it's nothing that I don't. It's nothing that I deserve. You know what I mean? It's I really deserve this. The work I put in. Nobody sees the lonely, lonely runs, the lonely training sessions with me and Billy. So. I deserve this. I came into the Lions Den. Zach's a true champion. It was tough, but um, we fought well. We done what we were supposed to do. So, and the new former world champion Barry Michaels in the commentary team. Your left rip was a shot that he said was world class. You landed that in the second round again in the third, and that's what stopped him in the seventh. Uh, was that a plan to counter a very powerful Zach Dunn? Yeah, very powerful. Um, we watched a lot. Uh, what a tape of. Um, Zach and we knew his elbows are up. If we could get through the first four rounds with his power, not take to anything too silly, then we knew we were going to win. I'm, I'm, I was, there was nobody fitter than me in here, and uh, the body shot started to land as soon as the first one landed, and that was that. I knew it was, I knew it was going to be finished early. It's been an amazing career so far. You've only suffered the one loss to George Groves, who fights for the world title next month. Other than that, you've been undefeated. You've taken out a top Australian boxer and the current Commonwealth, or the old Commonwealth uh, Super Middleweight Champion. You must be proud. You must have some people to thank all over the world. Yeah, I'm proud. I mean, I've got a, I've got a, a travelling support of 10 people, my girlfriend, my friends. I mean, he, it's the other side of the world, and they still travel here. Um, so I couldn't be happier. I've done it for them. I've done it for my dad back home. I've done it for Billy. So this is only the beginning. This is the beginning. So. I know Brian said he's been enjoying your, uh, your accent this week, mate. Uh, no doubt about it. You love the Melbourne and uh, Australia. Will we see you back in Australia ever? You will see me. You, uh, Brian's invited me back over in the summer with my girlfriend, so I'll be back over. Um, maybe, you never know, maybe get another fight, you never know. <laughs> On behalf of Big Time Boxing, Ultra Tune, uh, we do congratulate you. You are our new Commonwealth Super Middleweight Champion. Big round of applause for David Brophy. We were going to see if we could talk to Zach Dynamo Dunn. Brian, an unbelievable upset, uh, I suppose, to many people, but not to the Scots people. Look, David's a world-class fighter. We congratulate him as with him, one of the best man won on the night. And uh, David will go to bigger, better things. We're not, uh, we don't abandon people. Zach Dunn will be back. We'll rebuild him again. He had an off night and we'll, uh, you'll see Zach Dunn back bigger and better than ever. Congratulate David. I think he'll go on to great things. And uh, Zach will not be too far behind him. Brian, on behalf of everybody, thank you to Big Time Boxing as well. It's been a fantastic night. We're going to go to our wrap-up. A huge night. Congratulations. Our new Commonwealth Super Middleweight Champion is now David Brophy. John DiMicoli. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Brian Armatruda and the entire team at Big Time Boxing, we thank you so much for taking the time to come out to see this unbelievable card of fights. For all the winners, congratulations. Till next time, stay safe. And we'll see you right back here in Centering. Well, guys, what a huge night of boxing. Um, Started with our heavyweights, Chris, didn't it? Big boys banging away. It was really entertaining. Some big knocks. How did you find the night, Barry? Yeah, no, look, some, some really great bouts and excitement. The big boys, you know, and also uh, Joel Brunker there with that beautiful body shot. Shows you what the body shots can do. 
Uh, you know, the, some of the heavyweights down to exciting. You know, a bit sad to see two of our great heavyweight champions, Bob Mirovic and Cole Wilson, both get beaten. But, you know, that's what happens. Age, be, age beats us all. And a big shock, of course, in the final. Uh, for, see my boy take his first loss that down. And Zara, Zara Monsot, very, very impressive there. Yeah, Caesar was fantastic. Great body shot there. AK-47, okay, we want to congratulate our winner of the Frankie Bianco Heavyweight Tournament, Curtis Pugararo. He takes it out. And our new super middleweight title, Commonwealth Champion, is now David Roffey. On behalf of Matthew Pilios with AK-47 and legendary Michael, we thank you for big time boxing. Thank you and good night. Bye for now. Thank you.